Erica Wise, the host of Let's Get Real, the cooking show about finding, preparing, and eating food. I'm here to tell you about the difference between food and foodiness. So what's food? Well, if it's edible and it walked, swam, flew, or grew out of the ground, it's food. But if it walked, swam, flew, grew out of the ground, and has been altered in some way, or came straight out of a factory, it's foodiness. Like Stephen Colbert's truthiness, which wasn't about truth, foodiness isn't about food. It's a manufactured doppelganger, designed to look, feel, taste, and act like food, but isn't food. Like veggie puffs with no vegetables, like fruit bars with no fruit, like goldfish crackers with no goldfish. Remember Soylent Green? Foodiness isn't made of people, yet. Think of it more like eating shoes. You know shoes aren't made out of food, so you wouldn't eat them, no matter how bad you've got the munchies. A walk down any grocery store aisle will show you that foodiness is incredibly convenient, while real food is really hard to find. Food has become inconvenient. And while growing your own vegetables, raising chickens, raising bees, being a locavore, getting a birth certificate for your beef, sounds really cool and is great to post about on your food blog, for most of us, these solutions just aren't very realistic. That's where Let's Get Real, the cooking show about finding, preparing, and eating. Food comes in. On Let's Get Real, I'll do the job for you of sifting out everything fake in the world of food. So you can forage, hunt, gather, trap, and fish for real food anywhere, even in your local mega market. And you'll never unknowingly chow down on shoes again. No chicken coop required. <laughs> Veggie puffs and fruit bars promise to deliver all the amazing health benefits of messy, inconvenient fruits and vegetables. What they're not telling you is that the fruit in fruit bars is really just concentrated sugar. And that green sheen on your veggie puffs, that's just spinach dust, which is about as nutritious as actual dust. Fruit, not fruit bars. Eat vegetables, not veggie puffs. Yes, you might need a knife or a napkin or even a pot, but what can I say? Foodiness is convenient. Real food is inconvenient. But so are diabetes and early death, so it's probably worth the effort. Hi, y'all. Beef flavoring, MSG, ammonia, Putrefied meat scraps? That's not exactly what you had in mind when you pulled through the drive-thru. That's because the USDA minimum for beef in a burger patty is only 40%. The rest? And the beef itself has pesticide residues, antibiotics, hormones, not to mention that pesky E. coli we keep hearing about. When you can, buy grass-fed beef. It basically means the cattle haven't been f***ed with. They graze on grass and haven't been pumped full of hormones. Or make your own damn burgers. And if you have to go through the drive through at least order a salad. Even the plastic tomatoes are better than the fast foodiness burger. Today's bottled water claims read like something from Alice in Wonderland. There's one to make you smart, one to make you skinny, and one to make you young. Even one to make you horny. Hey, Alice. What's really in those sexy bottles? Water, sugar, artificial coloring, basically the same thing you'd find in soda. If it comes in a bottle, don't drink it, unless it's booze. And P.S., water from the tap is already smart. And if you filter it into your own pitcher, it's brilliant. These days, everything you see is enhanced with all kinds of healthy ingredients like omega-3s, fiber, whole grains, 
calcium. The fact is, we have no idea out of context what these nutrients are doing for us, and the way that they're processed, like whole grains, means that the nutritional value could be totally drained out of them. So I hate to be the one to break it to you, but omega-3s come from fish, not cookies. So if you're eating real food, you'll get real nutrition, and you won't need foodiness nutrition. So your cereal won't need calcium, your goldfish won't need whole grains, and your yogurt won't need fiber. Hear that, Jamie Lee? Here's the inconvenient truth. It doesn't matter if your eggs say organic, cage-free, or even holistic. Most eggs are <coughs> up. Your average egg has so much nasty stuff in it, like pesticide residue and antibiotics, and you don't even want to know what they feed the chickens. It makes you really want to raise your own. Cage-free, schmage-free. Here's the key word. When you can, buy pastured eggs. Like grass-fed beef, pastured is the only word you need to know. Pastured means the chickens live on fields, not in factories. So they can eat grass, seeds, and bugs what they're supposed to eat. Otherwise, maybe it's best not to eat eggs at all, unless you're hungover, in which case it doesn't count. Whether it's frozen breakfast burritos, pre-grilled chicken patties, pre-made frozen scrambled eggs, or canned soup, pre-prepared foods are a foodiness firewall that ensure we never get to see real food, let alone know what to do with it. I don't care how many grandmas and how many farmhouse kitchens you might see in the commercial. Real food made from real ingredients does not come in a package. cook something, anything. Trust me, you don't have to be a cook to know how to cook something basic like scrambled eggs or chicken. When the apocalypse comes and you don't know how to cook anything, you're gonna starve. And don't come knocking on my fallout shelter door. Regular milk is full of hormones used by the dairy industry to keep the cows pregnant and lactating all year round. Sound gross? It is. So when you drink non-organic milk, you take a shot of hormones with every sip. And all you wanted was a bowl of cereal. Well, sometimes the term organic is just a feel-good foodiness bamboozle to cover up foods like industrially raised eggs. When it comes to milk, organic means there's no added female hormones. So just remember this, non-organic milk equals gonads gone wild. We've all been force-fed a party line that says we need to eat a million grams of protein a day. We don't. And that enhanced athletic performance comes in bar form. It doesn't. Enhanced athletic performance comes from eating real food, not candy. And there's a reason protein bars taste like candy, because that's pretty much what they are. Sugar, corn syrup, artificial flavors and colorings, all of that <laughs> Eat real food. It's got everything an athlete needs, including protein and carbs. And if you want to eat a candy bar, eat a candy bar. So if you don't want to eat shit, check out me, Erica Wides, on Let's Get Real, a cooking show about finding, preparing, and eating food. Bye, y'all. Okay, okay, I know, okay, I gotta go. Okay, okay, goodbye, goodbye.
an hour from our potential sponsors. Let's get real. It's all about the Benjamins. And let's get real is sponsor friendly. There are so many potential food sponsors to choose from. Let's take a look. Coconut water. It's just coconut and water. And they can afford Rihanna. Coleman Ranch chickens. They're organic and they would love to get their hands on our demographic. Earthbound organics. They look like a small, friendly family farm, but they've got really deep pockets. Or Kind Bars. Even I eat them. And for the right price, I'd eat them on camera.